हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म टाइप नंबर वन बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड डिस्कस प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स there is a note written here very important note one of the most important notes and the note says whenever we get a quadratic equation in the denominator perfect square see here in both the cases we getting a quadratic equation in the denominator if this is the case we gonna make it perfect square so let us start with problem number 5 laplace inverse of phi s is equal to Laplace inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 4s plus 13. See here, we getting a quadratic equation in the denominator. So what we gonna do? We gonna make it a perfect square. So see the technique. See the technique how we are making it a perfect square. See here, what we gonna do? Square root of this. This is s right square s is square square root will be s this sign plus half 4 make it half so that is 2 the whole square again i am repeating for you concentrate on board see here take the square root of this that is s this sign in between half this 4 half will become 2 the whole square now if you open here you will get s square plus 4s plus 4 a plus b the whole square but actually we want 13 therefore i need to add 9 to it so that it will become 13 obviously if this is equivalent to this this must be equal to this but if you open this particular bracket s plus 2 the whole square it will be s square plus 4s plus 4 but we want 13 Therefore, we need to add 9 so that it will become 13. Is this clear? If it is not clear, pause this video, go back and check. Still, it is not clear, don't worry. We're going to do it number of times uh, throughout the chapter. So, it will be very clear afterwards. Now, please tell me, do you find shifting in this particular problem? Yes or no? See here, s plus 2, s plus 2. Do you find shifting here? Yes. Here, the s is shifted by plus 2. So, what you're going to take outside? Since s is shifted by plus 2, we're going to take e raised to minus 2t outside. We're going to take e raised to minus 2t outside. Forget about this shifting. Write it down as it is, whatever you see here. Forget about this shifting. Write it down as it is. So, this will be s upon s square plus 9. Let us find it out. What is the Laplace inverse of this? direct formula for this that is cos 3t so that's it problem number 5 done let us discuss problem number 6 laplace inverse of phi of s laplace inverse of s plus 2 upon s square minus 4s plus 13 now let us discuss this particular uh, case Again, you need to remember the note, very important note, whenever we get a quadratic equation in the denominator, perfect square. Again, we are getting a quadratic equation, perfect square. If you didn't understand here, just concentrate on board, you will understand. What you are going to do is, square root of this, that is S, this sign in between, next, half of this, 4 half will be 2, the whole square. If you open the bracket, what you will get? s square minus 4s plus 4 but here we want 13 so we need to add 9 to it so that this will be equal to this yes here you found out shifting plus 2 therefore e raised to minus 2t is outside please tell me friends do you still see shifting here yes or no is there a shifting in this particular case answer is no this will be similar to problem number 4 see suppose if both would be plus then it is a shifting and it is shifting of plus uh, e raised to minus 2t suppose both are minus that is also okay but the problem is one is minus and one is plus so i have told you to write it down a note and what is that note if this is the situation 
always convert numerator according to denominator so here we gonna convert numerator according to denominator in the de denominator we have s minus 2 therefore in the numerator also will make it s minus 2 this will be s minus 2 and if it is minus 2 you need to add plus 2 plus 2 this 2 is this this 2 is this and this is the adjustment s minus 2 and because of this minus 2 just to nullify the effect we are adding plus 2 in short this will be laplace inverse of s minus 2 plus 4 2 plus 2 is 4 upon s minus 2 the whole square plus 9 now you can see shifting here minus 2 so because of minus 2 e raised to 2t is outside laplace inverse of forget about the shifting and write it down whatever you see as it is so what you see here s plus 4 s square plus 9 yes please tell me how to solve this problem number 2 and 3 remember what we do separate so this can be written as e raised to 2t laplace inverse of you can simply write it on as s upon s square plus 9 plus 4 upon s square plus 9 next e raised to 2t s upon s square plus 9 is cos 3t what about this here if it would be 16 then the formula is a upon s square plus a square but the problem is here it is a 4 so 4 will come out into 4 will come out and you will be left with 1 upon s square plus 9 that is 1 upon a sin a t 1 upon a means 1 upon 3 because a square is 9 so 1 upon a sin a t that is sin 3t so this is your required solution for this particular problem problem number six is this clear done with it in the next video we'll discuss a few more examples thank you